This week we lost yet another musician to the battle against depression and I want to take a moment and talk about depression and anxiety because I myself suffer from anxiety disorder. It's been with me all my life um, and I wanted to offer my point of view on things because I'm pretty sure that some of you watching Lick and Riff are suffering from some sort of depression or anxiety because us musicians we tend to come from a place of insecurity, from a place of vulnerability, and I wanted to address that for a moment, if you will allow me, because I don't have any solutions, I don't have any answers, but I can offer a few suggestions. You already know the usual advice of talking to a friend, talking to a family member, talking to a therapist, um, meditating. Meditation does wonders for your mental health, but that's not what I was about to talk about. Um, I want to talk about music as a healing tool. Obviously, music is not enough, you know, on its own, but music can express emotions that you can't verbalize otherwise. Music is there as a language of emotions, okay? You can't separate emotion from music. And you can use music when you're feeling down. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that you know this already, but that's also why I'm trying to teach you improvisation because if you know how to improvise, you know how to speak the musical language and how to manipulate it to your own needs. And sometimes you need to, to express yourself musically and I want to give you the tools to do that. I remember there was a time when I was a teenager, I remember specifically a moment where I was very, very depressed, I was very down and I picked up the guitar and I just sat there on my bed for an hour and a half, um, yeah, I got a message on my phone, forgot to put it on silent, sorry. Um, but I, uh, I sat on my bed for an hour and a half and played the blues, a very simple blues progression when I was a teenager, but I played the blues for an hour and a half until my hands started hurting. But when I put the guitar away, I felt better because I expressed something that I couldn't express otherwise. I couldn't put my feelings into words, but music helped me get there. It helped me get to a better place. And that's why I'm teaching you how to express yourself on the instrument. Again, it's not an answer, it's not a solution, it's a tool. It's a tool for your own well-being. And that's also why I stress that music is a hobby um, because if you turn music into your profession and you involve an audience, um, things can get tricky because us musicians, we, we come from insecurity for the most part. And that insecurity doesn't go away with an audience. Some of my worst anxiety and depression bouts um, came after, um, after performances, after I performed in front of an audience, after I performed with my band or by myself, because there's something about, you know, having the love, so many people, their eyes on you, the, 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 the applause, and then, you know, the show's over, everybody goes home, and you go home and return to your own life. It's a high and then suddenly it's a low again. And that low isn't really a low, it's your life. But then after that high of having all that audience love, you drop back to your own life and it feels like a low. And that's dangerous. And it's not easy to maintain a career. And that's why I stress that music is first and foremost for you, for your own soul, for your own enjoyment. If you have no one to talk to or you don't want to talk to anyone, you can talk to yourself via music. You can use music as your partner in conversation, you know. Um, yeah, that's basically what I wanted to say. So um, I want to share with you a moment, you know, an emotional musical moment I had a few months ago. Um, because you can actually see, I didn't, I didn't plan on releasing this, but you can actually see myself getting emotionally involved with the music. It was a jam session with my good friend Ares and, um, and you know, the music just took me places. And you can just see how about after a minute or two, I start to really get involved and you can feel the intensity, you can feel the emotion that I'm trying to express, you can feel what I'm feeling without even saying a word. So that's the power of music. 
So um, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I know I didn't have anything too smart to say, but you know, if if you need it, music is always there for you. That's that's a good thing. That's a blessing. So use it. I'll see you in the next lesson.